What's up guys? It's your boy Ben Barrage. Welcome to this episode. Today I'm gonna teach you guys five ways to get rich. It's your boy Ben Barrage. <laughs> As you can see here, five ways to get rich. Okay, five ways. And this is a serious video. Okay, it's not a troll video. I'm gonna teach you guys how to get rich. Uh, I've been playing this game since 2013, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. I think. So we're gonna do this while I'm farming ATMs because I got tons of ATMs to farm. I'm trying to get more gems. Um, <clears throat> this is just one farm. I got three farms. Let's start with the first way. Okay. I picked five like really good ways. First way would be the vending shop. A lot of people, you know, they think I hacked or something. I don't know because I got rich. Like you know, like before, if you saw videos, uh, my videos, like you know, like maybe 2015 or something, I wasn't so rich. Yeah, I had Grow Awards, but I I didn't sell them, so I didn't I didn't have a bunch of diamond locks. But but um, the thing is. When uh, vending machines came out, I in the beginning I didn't really buy vending machines. I thought they were awesome, and I thought they would change Girltopia. And um, <laughs> you can read this if you want, but I didn't really get into vending machines. And um, and yeah, and then I I I um, I turned I quit into a vending shop. Right, I turned I quit into a vending shop, and. I just started with a few vending machines, like I didn't have many warlocks, so I just, uh, um, I just had like I just bought like five or ten vending machines, and I I just sold whatever I could find, and you know, and I started getting richer and richer, and I expanded my shop. I expanded. I quit, and made and made it bigger and bigger till I had a bunch of warlocks. Now the thing is about having a vending shop. Okay, this is number one. The f a lot of rich people have a vending shop. Okay, a lot. Okay, so this is not a joke. You can get super rich. If somebody asked me how to get rich, I would tell them to to start a vending shop. Um, but it's not simple. Okay, first I'm gonna give you some tips on how to uh, have a successful vending shop. Uh, first tip would be. To not start big, this is very important. Okay, if you don't have a lot of world locks, you 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 want to make a vending shop and you make a huge vending shop like the whole map. Are you seriously kidding? Like you're not gonna be able to even fill your world with vending machines. Vending machines are expensive right now, about 4.5 world locks. Okay, about per vending machine. And some people they have 50 world locks, and you wanna make a vending shop, and you make a huge vending shop. The secret is to start small, okay? This video I'm giving you a bunch of tips from my own experience, okay? So you're, you're gonna learn a lot. To, the secret is to start small. You don't need to have a huge vending shop. That's the secret, okay? You could just have two or three vending machines. Four. Let's say you have 20 world locks, right? Just buy three. That's it. Buy buy two even, and then put it in your world. And then you already have a vending shop, but it's just a small one. And then sell whatever in there. Okay. So start small, and then when you get richer, you make it bigger. Okay. Not like start huge, and you can't even fill the whole world with vending machines. You don't need to have a huge vending shop. Just get a small one, and you can make a lot of warlocks right from the start, and then you expand. Then you get richer, then you can buy more vending machines, and you expand your shop. You get more stuff, and also don't forget you have to spend more uh on filling the vending machine. So that's the thing, okay? So don't don't start big. That's the first tip. Second tip, you must have a good name, okay? Uh, the thing is about I quit. You know why in the beginning I, you know why I I was able to. Um, to make a vending shop using that name because every time the world I quit pops up, okay, on the exit screen, someone thinks, people think, oh, somebody quit. I'm if I go there, I might get free stuff. They don't know it's a vending shop. So naturally, automatically, like, like naturally, people just go to I quit. Another thing, people like to type I quit, like, oh man, I'm quitting. 
maybe I'll scam somebody. I I just I'll just go to I quit see if it's locked. Of course, it, I locked it already, and、um, I didn't even pay a lot of. I bought it from somebody. I didn't even pay a lot of Rolex. So that's the thing. You need to have a good name, okay? If you're opening a vending shop and your name totally sucks, oh my gosh! Can you imagine how many Rolex you will have to spend on、uh, making it successful? Because you have to SB so much. Each SB is like twenty Rolex, okay? Ten thousand gems, twenty thousand gems. Will you have a, a lot of gems like that? Will you have enough Rolex to make your shop popular? So automatically, if the name of the world sucks, it's almost it's so hard to sell anything. So like, if you get a good name, of course, like example, buy worlds, okay? Buy anything, buy fur, buy leather, buy ride. You put up film vending machines there. You don't need to SB at all, at all. Like you don't need to SB. You can just.、Uh, You don't need to SP. People will just go there. People will just go to buy leather, buy fur, whatever. Just naturally, like, just put vending machines there, and people will buy. Just think about what they're gonna buy there, and and just put vending machines there, and people will buy from the vending machines. By the way, in Japan, there are tons of vending machines. It's it's ridiculous. So vending machines, have a vending shop. Start small, and you must have a good name.、Um, that's the thing, though. Like in I quit, I turned it into a spot vending shop. Uh, if you want to buy a spot, you can go to I Quit, and I also have spots there.、So、if you want to buy a spot there, you can if you want, or maybe in another world, somebody else's world. It's it's cool, but that's the thing. You need a good name. Don't start big. Just expand, okay? And of course, don't don't sell things like, don't make it like so expensive, like everything too expensive. No one will buy, okay? Make the price like. Make a set a good price, okay? If too too expensive, no one will buy, of course. So that's that's、uh, my first tip.、Um, already we spent、uh, quite a long time talking about this, but this is、uh, an educational video. Next tip, I'm going to talk about invest in rares, okay? Now this might might be harder for people who don't have Rolex, but you know if you just have twelve. Thirteen Rolex, twenty Rolex. You can already have a vending shop, like I said. Just get a few vending machines. But to invest in rares is another thing. Like you should know which rares will go up. See, that that's the thing. Some people come to how to get rich. If you don't play the game, you will not know the game. You must play the game. The pros they they play a lot, so they know a lot about the game. They know which items will go up, which items will go down, which items have、uh, potentials to go up, which. Items will probably go down, whatever. So they know how to invest. They know what to buy and what not to buy. Example: When an item of the month comes out, you can already kind of predict if it's gonna drop like crazy or if it's gonna go up. Okay, kind of. Okay, I think so far all the item of the months、uh, went down right from the start.、Uh, but but Royal Locks, wow, I think they're going up because they're useful. But usually wings and stuff. But anyways. Invest in rare. Exact example: Da Vinci wings. I think I I don't know. You gotta go see the video where I bought Da Vinci wings. I think I paid only like around. I'm not sure. One point two five diamond locks. One hundred twenty five diamond locks or one hundred twenty nine. You know how much they are now? Three hundred twenty diamond locks. Okay. Some items may like, for example, like、um, even even it doesn't have to be super expensive items like Da Vinci wings or the G set or whatever. It could be something very simple, like for example,、uh, something that comes out during、uh, an event. So when it comes out, there are tons. Okay, it's abundant, so the price is not that high. Example could be like Song Pyeongs or or things like that. Like well,、uh, maybe I mean I'll give another example. Maybe not Song. I don't know. I don't know about the the price of Song Pyeongs now. But like for example, like even simple things like.、Uh, um, Angel wings, angel wings, exa example. Okay, when when during Valentine's week, they're probably not that expensive, right? Like maybe cheapest because so many of them, tons of people are getting angel wings. But what happens? Ten、uh, months after that, eight months, nine months. Okay, what happens? The price will change. So you have to know the prices. You have to know the events. Just you gotta play the game a lot, and you you can know which rares to invest in. Okay. That's my second advice、uh, on how to get rich. Third, this one is gonna be difficult, but it, I, I don't think it's 
it's so difficult. I mean, trade wars. You know how how many diamond locks uh, pros can make when they trade um, rare worlds, like buy worlds, a lot, hundreds, even sometimes hundreds. They can profit hundreds of diamond locks. Let's say you, but you gotta be good at this. I mean, well, you gotta know. You gotta play this game and know, okay? But it doesn't have to even be buy worlds, okay? Buy worlds cost hundreds of diamond locks, but it doesn't have to be that. It could be anything. Like someone is selling world, you, you know the name is pretty good. You know um, the world is pretty good, maybe. What, whatever is inside, and you know you can profit. So you buy the world, buy low and sell high. The thing about worlds is sometimes it's ridiculous. Like, it's not ridiculous, um, but it, it makes perfect sense because if the, no one is going to pay for that, then you can't sell it, right? But but the, it depends on, on the demand, okay? So, like, if you, if you think you can get more off that world, then you can buy it and then you can resell it. And you, the pros, man, they profit so much. But like I said, it doesn't have to be extremely expensive worlds. It could be a world that is, even if you buy a clear world, okay? Oh, this world has four letters and it's a, it's, the world is cleared. So I'll just buy for someone selling for one world lock. You, and you buy it and you resell it for five world locks. How about that, huh? But that's just the beginning. You can get some practice from that. But eventually you have to move on to, to more expensive wells. That's another thing. Okay. Um, example like Ben Barrage, the world Ben Barrage. How much do you think it costs? Okay. Or even when an item of the month comes out, um, you can go lock it if you, if you can, but I don't know if you can. Or you can even go buy it from the, the nub who locked it. Like some nub locked it first, so you buy all. Oh, you, you know this world you can resell for for more, okay? So you buy for two diamond locks, three diamond locks, whatever. You, maybe you resell for 10 diamond locks, okay? So you can get a lot of diamond locks that way. So that's another way, three ways. You guys know, if you're watching this, if you got some experience, you guys know I'm not kidding, okay? These are real ways to get rich. Fourth way, I don't know about this, but it's also a way to get rich, but, and we need this in our game. Uh, a lot of you guys probably know this, is to mass produce. You can go to worlds like buy mass or whatever. Uh, where I, maybe I'll recommend you guys some worlds. And you, you just produce. You, the thing is now people are willing. To, people are lazy. Like people are so lazy. Like I could. People don't want to make anything, and they don't want to wait. Okay, they don't want to wait. Example, if I want, uh, if I want rippers, I'm not gonna make my own rippers and wait like how many days to get my rippers. I'm gonna go out and buy rippers. Okay fast because that's the thing people are lazy so you you can you can help them by by making things that they they need they want and you will profit okay well unless you're, you're stupid or like you spend tons of money on the seas but you you can mass produce okay just you can even like some people even think oh you i got to start from dirt blocks the seeds you you can do that if you have no life i i suggest though and this is for real you don't, you don't need to start from like low rarity seeds. Start high, okay? Example, rainbow wigs. Um, rainbow block seed plus um, fireplace seed. You don't need to start from dirt, dirt seeds, okay? You just find those two seeds. Don't start too low. Maybe one or two levels. One level lower, that's, I think that's the best because you'll save time. Two levels lower, maybe. Like sometimes when I need to mass produce something and I really can't find the, the two seeds I would need, I maybe go like one, another level lower. So, yeah. Don't go too low. That's my suggestion. Not like start from dirt seeds, okay? Man, you're wasting so much time when you could be profiting. Don't start too low and waste your time. Time is precious in Grotopia. Don't waste your time doing dumb things. If you can save time, uh, do it, okay? It doesn't, maybe you'll spend more world locks, but you can save tons of time and you can move on and do other things. You'll get richer that way. Imagine if rich people were so cheap, everything, they try to save world locks. Oh my gosh, they would not be so rich, guys. I, I am serious. I mean, rich people usually don't, don't care about a few world locks because they want, they're saving time. They want to move on. Oh, I'm going to buy... Um, Someone is selling rainbow wings for 18. Yeah, go and buy. But if you go there, you go to, for example, I had to buy 20 rainbow wings. 
I'm not gonna try to buy for 18 warlocks and waste time, okay? If I could, then okay. But if people is too slow, I'll just buy for 20 warlocks each so I can get things fast and can go do other things, get richer. You waste time on stupid things and go to Opia, you're not gonna get rich. The rich people, they, they don't care about this, okay? They don't care about few warlocks because they can make way more, okay, with, with their time. Man, this video, if you're watching this video right now, you are so helpful and these are real tips, okay? These are real tips from someone with experience with the legendary title. Um, what else we want to talk about? Ah, oh, the last thing. Now this, this, um, I think this could be more fun, the last tip. You should mass producing, having a vending shop, uh, buy and sell worlds, invest in rares. These might not be things you will want to do because they could be boring for you. They could be not fun. There are other things you could do, okay? In Grotopia, there are tons of skills you could do and you can get rich from those skills, okay? Um, for example, you could be, uh, we're gonna continue this uh, in another. So my last tip would be to do things that you like and uh, I think it could be more fun. I'm serious. Like for example, surgery. I got this winter scarf, okay? I got it from doing surgeries for my legendary quest. I recorded it, but I forgot to put it in the video. It's like three diamond locks or something right now, okay? Yeah, it's about like three diamond locks, if memory serves. Now, in the beginning, I hated doing surgeries, but after a while, I started to like doing it because I, 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 I didn't fail so much. In the beginning, I failed a bunch of times until I really learned the skill. And now, I even, I'm even thinking about doing surgeries for fun because I can get uh, this, I, I think you, and another thing you could get, I think would be the thingamabob, and you, if you get that, you'll be rich. If you enjoy doing surgeries, do that, and you can get rich. Of course, it's risky doing things like surgeries, but if you really enjoy it, then I think you'll have fun doing it. And I even if you don't get the thingamabob, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the thingamabob you can get, right? Then it's still fun for you, and you're having fun. It's a game, you're supposed to have fun. If you don't enjoy the four tips, the first four tips I gave you, the fifth tip might be for you. And you could do other things. It doesn't have to be surgeries. You could be fishing. You could profit from, from fishing. You could, you might catch a megalodon. If you do, you're rich. Uh, what else can you do? Tons of things you can do. If you enjoy uh, chemicals, you can be doing chemicals, make things and sell. Yeah, the last tip might be awesome for people who are really not businessmen, but they want to have fun. Do what you love and you you find a way to profit off of what you love. That could be, might be the best way for many people actually who, who don't want to do boring stuff. Now, do I like farming ATMs? The answer is no, but I want to have tons of gems, so I'm doing it now. <laughs> uh, you can't always do what you love if you want to get ahead. So, well, guys, that's it for this episode. I'm going to suffer some more. Okay, these are not even ready. I'm going to suffer some more farming ATMs in seven hours. Uh, I'm going to suffer some more farming ATMs, and I hope this video was helpful to, to you guys. Um, if this video was helpful and cool, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.